Next week, two men charged in connection with a deadly triple shooting in Elizabeth City will be back in court. One of the accused, Ricky Etheridge Jr., will face the death penalty if convicted. And now for the first time, we're hearing from the father of the three-year-old killed last December. And your size, Julie Millay, is here with this exclusive interview tonight. Julie. Von Pledger lost his daughter and his girlfriend in that deadly shooting in Elizabeth City last year. While Pledger tells me he's hopeful for a conviction in this case, he says he knows no punishment can ever bring his loved ones back. She gave me three beautiful years. Von Pledger gets emotional, recalling the moment he found out he would never see his three year old daughter, Allura, ever again. It took a car was shot up. And they told me how many, you know, how, how, how the car looked. And so then I heard there was, you know, three people were killed. Then I heard I got another call and I said my daughter was fighting for her life. So I'm just thinking she's going to pull through. Then I got another call. I was told all of them was there. But it wasn't just his daughter. Her mother and Pledger's girlfriend, 39-year-old Deshay Berry, was shot and killed too, along with 18-year-old Jaquan White. How have you been adjusting without them here? So hard. I haven't been adjusting. I really don't know how to go forward right now. But prosecutors know how they want to move forward. Prosecutors say they want the maximum punishment, the death penalty. Ricky Etheridge Jr. and Terrence Seymour are both charged with three counts of murder. Etheridge is facing the death penalty if convicted. It doesn't make me feel any better. I mean, I want justice for both of them, whatever that may be. Um, but uh, him getting the death penalty or, not, or don't get the death penalty does, is not going to bring them back, you know. Pledger says no matter the outcome of the trial, he's the one in for a lifetime of punishment, not getting to see his youngest daughter grow up. I was going to put her in karate. Like I said, she loved to dance. You know, I believe she was going to have a beautiful voice because most of the people in our family can sing. He says his situation should serve as a warning to people who think they can't be affected by gun violence. Anyone, he says, could lose their loved ones in the blink of an eye. <sighs> no, they were just wonderful people. Everybody loved them. They made an impact wherever they went, you know, positive impact. So I know they'll be missed by everyone that knew them. Etheridge's attorney tells me Monday's court appearance is a hearing to try to line up experts for the trial, which he expects won't start until at least next year. I'm Julie Millay, 10 on your side.